In this video, we're going to talk about Story Chief, which is a way to ramp up your content marketing strategy, invite and collaborate with teams, and distribute your content. I'm going to show you how to do it for free and talk a little bit about what you can do if you do upgrade to one of their plan paid plans. So stay tuned for this one. Hey everybody, this is David Ferguson with TechSmart Boss here with another video. We're going to talk about StoryChief.io. It's a product that I came across on Product Hunt recently. Uh, it was the number two product of the day and a lot of great comments. And I wanted to take a look at it because as you know, I'm a big believer in content marketing and inbound marketing and SEO. So that it's the best way for a small business to generate leads. We talk about it all the time on the podcast. Check the check the description for a link to our podcast. What this product does, it kind of brings everything together so that you and your team can collaborate on content have it written with SEO in mind, and it gives you an easy way to publish it and broadcast it out to multiple places. If I scroll down here, you'll see with one click you can do, uh, you can plan, schedule, and distribute with just one click. It, it looks pretty powerful and a lot of great feedback on it. Now, the other thing I like, if you take a look at their pricing, they do have a free plan. That's what we're going to sign up here for today. It's five stories. But it's affordable now. This is in euros. I'll be honest with you. I don't. I don't know what. Well, let's let's actually look. What is twenty five euros in dollars? I some of these websites these days are putting stuff in euros. I don't know what euros are. I'm suspecting I got to pay a lot. Well, not too much more. I thought it was going to be forty dollars. So twenty nine dollars uh, a month for that. You'll see the marketer is where they got a lot of great features and I, I saw where they were doing a little special here I don't know if that's still going to be on while you're looking at this video but if you look at let's go ahead and close that auto chat there if you look at their uh, comparisons here you'll see five months five stories a month published for free which is nice uh, you can of course get more as you move up ambassadors I'm going to talk about that in a second but I really like the ambassador concept but you'll notice that that's only on the marketer um, probably a good deal if you get that discount here, uh, but 99 euros a month, a little bit expensive there for a uh, early stage business. They give you a free blog. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to take a look at that in a second, but you'll see here that the free has a lot of good features, but what you're not going to be able to do with the free is content approval rejection, which if you have a small team, you really don't have to worry about that. Newsletters and emailing, again, not something you probably have to worry about when you're starting out. Lead generation, this is, you know, it's important to put some lead generation into your um, content we're going to talk about that, but you'll notice that they only have their in-house integrations built into uh, their starter plan and above. So that's something to consider. Custom domain, again, starter plan and above. I'm going to talk about that and how I think you could use this free version. And then you'll see the rest here. Access to talent pool. That's just like a job market where you can hire content writers. This one is kind of important. It's Google AMP. This is important. I've done a video on Google AMP in the past. It's really easy to add to WordPress. So if you do what I'm going to do in this video, I don't think that's going to be something that will stop you. But if you are going to leverage their custom domain uh, as your primary blog, then definitely it's important and it is included in their paid uh, version and then you'll see the rest here I won't go through everything in detail uh, but what they offer you if you don't have a blog site you'll, you'll see that they actually give you the ability to set a blog up for free really quickly but the blog is going to be uh, it's going to be un, not not customized it's going to be based on their brand but let's actually just sign up get into it and then I'll show you that way and it'll be a lot easier to, to kind of understand so I'm going to sign up for free and I'm going to go ahead and put in my TechSmart Boss email here and a password. I am not a robot, although Google sometimes, I, oh my goodness, here we go. Street signs. All right, I believe these are all the street signs. Now watch this. Google's going to make me do this probably three or four times. Okay, here we go again. Now, does this little, these little parts going up here, does that count? I, I don't know. I'm assuming so. I click them. All right. Hey, only twice this time. Sometimes I have to do those things like six times, and it makes me wonder if I am a, a, a robot or something. All right. Name of my business, Tech Smart Boss. Let's put that in there. And it should take me right into my account. Doesn't offer. Uh, okay. Perfect. Um, gives me a little starting tour, but I'm going to go ahead and close that down. Now, 
you'll notice that when you're on that free plan all the things like the campaigns the content calendar the matchmaking that was that um talent pool they were talking about you got to upgrade to get to those so a lot of those sorts of things here what i'm going to suggest if you're just starting out and you're on this free plan here let's talk about how you can get value from that first of all the big value is in writing your your content uh, with an SEO slant. So if I edit this dummy example that they have here, let's go ahead and edit this one. One is a very nice uh, editor, uh, very easy to work with. This this is a dummy example that takes you through all their features. But you'll see here, very nice style sheet, very easy to add images and videos and, and, and all sorts of things that you want in your, your content. Uh, but what I like is if you go up here, and look at that SEO optimizer. Yeah, I've talked about a tool called uh, Web Text Tool in the past that helps me write more SEO oriented content. Well, this is extremely similar uh, to Web Text Tool, which is an expensive tool. It's, it's, it's not inexpensive. But as you write and you put in your focus keyword, now you can only have one focus keyword here. With Web Text Tool, you can have a primary and a couple of, of secondary. But it'll give you examples of how to get your SEO score up to 100% as you uh, correct the things or do the suggestions. And it also gives you readability score. So this by itself, if you're just using the free, I would say if you don't have something like a Web Text Tool, this is worthwhile just to sign up with here, just to do your drafts and to write your content in here because you're going to be able to get some SEO information. That's number one. You'll also notice that if you are writing this with a team, you know, let's say you've uh, contracted some, some members to do that, you can invite them, you can give them an editorial brief, and you can kind of tell them what you want them to do in this article. You can highlight sections and leave comments, for example. So that's very nice. And if I were to click in this dummy example, if I click here, you'll see it'll take me to that where that comment is located. So it's a great place to collaborate and, and leave comments and do things like that. So that right there is really nice. That, that's all in the free. And you'll see here, I can just quickly invite others uh, to, to create users and invite. And they don't put any limitations on that per their price plan. So that's great. Once you write your content, You've got your summary. So this is all your SEO. So again, you can you can fill in things. Now these things like categories and tags, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to see if that carries forward to WordPress. We might test that in a second. But you can add those. You can set publication dates. Again, you don't have a content calendar in the free version, but it gives you all the SEO settings that you need. And then over here in audience is where you've got that multi distribution. Now by default. They're setting you up a blog. Um, now, their blog is, is, is nice. I wouldn't personally use it unless you upgrade it to the custom domain because your blog should be under your primary website domain. If you're just starting out and you're just wanting to get some stuff out there, maybe this is a very cheap, free way to get yourself a free blog. That's, that's great. Do that when you do migrate you're probably going to have some some SEO and and some redirect issues so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it <clears throat> but it is there and you'll notice that by default their blog is active it's your primary if I go to configure that blog it's it's pretty nice you can put in your favorite cons your your share images set your colors your cover images and things like that put all your social media stuff and you can see here the custom domain is an upgrade as i mentioned i, I would say you definitely need to upgrade and use custom domain if you if you're using their blog but but a lot of stuff here so so, so the blog is nice what i would recommend you do if you're on the free version is not use their blog but publish it out to your own WordPress site. So I'm assuming you have a WordPress site. That's what we recommend. In fact, let's go ahead and add that as a destination here, and I'll show you what I would I would do. Um, I'm going to install this plugin. So let's go ahead and click and see. All right, I think I could just uh, yeah, I could probably. I want to go to my blog site here and add a plug plugin. I'm going to call it. Uh, well, I'm going to search for Story Sheaf. And it should bring it up in here. Okay, here we go. So let's install their plugin. All right, it's installed. Let's activate it. Now I think I'm gonna have to go back here and get a code. Let's take a look. Actually, it didn't ask me for a code. Let's go. Should be some settings somewhere for Story Sheet. There we go. Settings. Um, so okay, here we go. Our key. I'm gonna probably blur this out in the video. 
but let's go ahead and grab that key put that there uh, I want to enable testing mode that's nice so we can actually let's publish that dummy article to my WordPress site try it out enable unknown author I'm, I'm not gonna do that okay good so you could create cr categories and text and have it automatically published to WordPress that's nice so let's go ahead and save this and now let's come back over to story chief and set the well I'll tell you what I'll copy what it has here because it says to save this in story chief and save that so now I should have that destination of WordPress defined and it says authenticated alright so that was pretty easy now if I go back to this setting here perfect you see I've got WordPress configured now let's take a look at what else you can now you can't do all of these because some of these are paid for example I believe HubSpot for example you gotta upgrade and that was all on that pricing page if I look at medium medium is a nice place where I say you should, should syndicate now what, what's nice about story chief you don't have to worry about duplicate content they're going to go through and do the can canonical links I'm saying that wrong but if you're familiar with uh, SEO you know what I'm talking about I'm gonna go ahead and authenticate to my uh, medium site and I'll show you this multi there we go let's save this setting so I, I'm able on their free plan to add both a WordPress site and medium um, you'll see let's see what else I can do if I want to go to blogger could I nope I gotta upgrade to go to blogger I know I gotta upgrade to do an RSS feed Facebook Twitter LinkedIn I should be able to add all those yeah you see I can add those destinations to put the post direct to the Facebook page that's nice uh, and then the Google amp as I mentioned before that is an upgrade which I don't like but if you've got Google amp on your WordPress site I don't think it's gonna matter if we do what I I'm, I'm gonna do in a second now integrations uh, again these are mostly gonna be available on the upgrade even the email because we don't have any lead generation by default there so you see upgrade there so the free is quite limited but again you're writing a good article and if you want to now publish this article to both medium and to uh, your WordPress sites, watch watch what I'm gonna do I'm gonna edit this article hopefully this will work let's say you've set it up the way you want to have it set up you've gotten all your SEO settings set up under the summary now under audience I can activate my WordPress and watch this I can set it as my primary so what this allows me to do is to leave my content on their platform if I wanted to and it's gonna have a can can canonical link to WordPress and I bet you I'm saying that word wrong I, I, I apologize if I'm am leave a comment if I'm saying I, you know I got a deep country accent uh, I say words wrong all the time but this is what's nice this means that your WordPress site will be the primary home for that article now and everything else I'm gonna go ahead and activate medium is going to have a redirect link or a, a, a link telling Google yeah this is duplicate content but don't penalize me because I'm telling you where the primary content is located and you'll notice that now I can publish to that now I don't want to publish to my medium well, I could delete it. But no, I'm not going to do that. But you'll see here, I could go through and add social media accounts. So this is that one click they were saying. And I'm doing this all with the with the free stuff here. So now I'm going to publish to both of these places. And let's go ahead to publish and do it. So you'll see the story will be published to two destinations, their blog and your blog. Let's confirm it. And there it goes. This is the first time I've done this um, on their platform. So we'll see how long it takes it says it's queued up 100 percent okay you are uh what's this this is their website is not set okay so i hadn't set a primary i hadn't set a valid blog. i hadn't configured the blog yet that's why it didn't work to that blog because I, I just i let's see i bet you if i go into their blog i've got to set some stuff up yeah i probably have to set some stuff up in here but now let's take a look at um Tech Smart Boss and see if it published. Uh, all post. Uh, there it is in draft because that's the way I set that plugin up. Let's preview it and take a look if some of that nice formatting comes across on my. Yeah, it does. Look at that. So you got your picture, um, your format, your images come across. 
looks just like their editor. So that's a really, and what's nice in my opinion about that is you, you don't have to use WordPress, create a bunch of extra user IDs in WordPress for um, your content writers to come in, uh, which is nice because I don't like to create users in WordPress. Uh, so you've, you've got a really easy way to set that up. And then take a look if I were to go into users and invite a user, I'm able to invite as many people as I want, I believe, and you'll see that I can set them as guest writers or writers that can publish. So even in the free, you can control kind of what people can do. I would I would only make writers and guest writers since you don't have any kind of approval uh, in, the, in the free. And that way you're the person that always gets to hit the publish button when you want to do that. So check it out. Um, might be great for you to start and then if you have a little bit of a bigger operations I think this special pricing they have going for their marketer plan is, is a pretty good deal at $29 a month for all that they're giving you but this allows you to formalize your content marketing process a little bit better do it a little bit better with SEO in mind and of course get better results uh, so if you if you like this video leave us a comment uh, definitely share it out subscribe to our YouTube channel we're putting out a, a video a week and then also check out our Facebook page and everything that we're doing out on techsmartboss.com and I'll talk to you in the next video